So a lot of people ask me if I have plans for my projects. I don't make plans. I have been gifted that I can vision it in my head and I know what it's gonna look like before I build it. I like to sketch things out just to kind of get a rough idea for the sizes, how many pieces I need to cut and stuff like that. And I didn't really pay too much attention when I was in kindergarten. I actually had to do kindergarten twice and I, I think I still squeaked by the second time. My drawing skills are not really that great. So this is what I have to go off by. It's just essentially just a box that I drew with numbers on it. Right there, I got the rough lumber all milled up. Actually, it's not milled up. It's just cut down to size. I'm gonna plane it as I need it. And then I have a sheet of Baltic birch plywood that I'm going to cut up. I wanted three quarter inch, but all they had was half inch. So I'm gonna have to make do with that. It should be just fine. So let's uh, head over to the table saw and we'll cut up this piece of plywood. And uh, yeah, let's cue the montage. <laughs> So I got everything cut down to size, it's right there. And it's important that you make all your cuts on the table saw all at one time. That way all your pieces are exactly the same length. It'll just make your project go a lot smoother. So make sure you get them all down to the same length, same width. In my case, it's 10 inches wide. I'm gonna start by doing some assembly work right now. And I'm, it's, there's no fancy joinery. It's just gonna be some brad nails. Here's a pro tip for you guys. Fill in your nail holes and give this a sand before attaching the top and the bottom. It's a lot easier to do this now than later. So now I'm just gonna wait for the glue to dry, wait for this putty to dry, and then I'm gonna give it a sand and then I'll assemble the rest. And we're gonna do that tomorrow. So, good night. Oh, hey, it's the next day. Uh, it's actually the evening again. That's about the only time I get to have time in my shop. So I've sanded the pieces down and next we're going to start doing some assembly work. All right, the glue up is all done. I have it squared and everything. So next we're gonna cut maple, probably till about eighth of an inch thick, and we're going to mount it to the front to cover up all this plywood. I got the uh, the trim done on here. And as you can see, I left it a little bit proud. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my router and put a flush trim bit in and trim it flush. So let's do that.
Okay, so the carcass is all done and the doors are made and I have them hanging. And I didn't want it to have any handles on it. I think it looks sharp without any handles. So I added these uh, magnetic clips that you push in and they push out like that. And then in order to grab the edge of the door, I just routered in a groove for your fingers. It works pretty slick. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, let's go blow all the dust off of this and we'll shoot some paint on it. So I got it all painted and I got it all back together and I even wrapped it in plastic, you know, to kind of keep it nice until it gets to its final destination. So I loaded it up in my truck already and it's time to hit the road and bring it to my sister's place. So with the magic of video editing, I am now back in my shop and my sister was very pleased with the cabinet and the installation of it went very well, better than I thought it would. I thought I was gonna have to do some shimming and stuff of the cabinet to get it level, but surprisingly for a 100 year old house, those walls were very straight. So anyway, that concludes this video and if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video and like always, we'll see you in the next one.